All right. Today's video should be a good one. I've got some fresh baked madelines, which are, it's a French cake-like cookie. Uh, these ones have lemon zest in them, so they're very light and fluffy, have like a lemon flavor to them. Uh, it's one of my favorite things to make, and the reason why, I love these blind corners, the reason why I chose to bake these this week is because we're meeting up with one of my longtime friends uh, and my ex-roommate. And actually, when I was living with him about a year ago, I bought the pan to make Madelines with. So I baked them, uh, I baked him a special batch of Madelines just for him. I'm not telling him because that's kind of the whole point of this thing. It's a little surprise. And it's something that I think he likes. I'm not entirely sure. Um, but we'll find out. I don't think that was recording anything. So it's cool. <laughs> we just have the audio version. <laughs> Sick. Just, we'll just add that on there, like so. Sixteen. What's shutter speed? Sixty. Okay. Yeah. Sixty is like kind of a standard shutter speed, so. What do you think? It could be good. We'll see. Doesn't that just fill you with confidence? That <laughs> it sounds like the fishing pole that that yeah. guy's reeling up. It's like I took a bite of an apple. <laughs> All right. Cool. Like I took a bite of the world. <laughs> oh, okay. Let's let's check out these ducks. These geese. The reason why for two reasons I gave you the medium format was because that's kind of my first serious film photography venture was black and white medium format. Mm -hmm. Mine was with the Mamiya, which is like an infinitely better camera than that, oh. but I had film in it. <laughs> and I think like in terms of like, uh, like if you were to use a 35 millimeter SLR next, this is a better way to kind of ingratiate you into that experience. Um, is it recording? No. Yeah. So what happens is if you press down on this and hold, it will turn on and start recording. So that's what I was doing. But then if you hold in on the side here, it'll turn on. But when you stop recording from turning it on and recording, it just turns off. Oh. So okay. you so can it's... leave it off if you want to. That's fine. Um, but anyway, in yeah. terms of if you were going to shoot a 35 millimeter SLR next, this is a much easier thing to kind of merge. Like the... The idea of using that, oh look at that, um, it's just so much more similar to 35mm right? A large part of the best show this season is the baked goods. Uh, just about everybody that I met up with uh, this season, I delivered uh, some baked goods. And this is the part where I talk about the baked good a little bit more. So today's video made Madeline's. I got my Madeline pan here, I'm about to make some right now. I'll show you kind of how I go about doing that. Um, something important to note, dropped, dropped the ball on this. Uh, Dalton actually doesn't like Madeline's. That was a little oopsie daisy of mine. Uh, it turns out he actually doesn't like uh, citrusy things all that much. Um, he still enjoyed them to some degree, but... Oops, my bad. Too bad. Uh, but yes, basically, I'm going to be making a double recipe of them, which means, you know, i got two sticks of butter instead of one. going to pop these in to get them melted in the microwave. Uh, just be careful that they don't blow up on you because that's happened to me quite a bit. Uh, 200 grams of sugar. Uh, two... We'll run through the recipe. Four large eggs at room temperature, uh, 200 grams of sugar, and you want to mix that together fairly well. And then when you have that mix, you want to add your lemon zest, which I've got a fresh lemon for that. And then from there, you want to... That's fine. 
Um, then you want to add your vanilla extract. Mix that all together. In a separate bowl, you're going to want to mix up two cups of flour. Um, one teaspoon of baking powder and about a quarter teaspoon of salt. Mix the dry ingredients together, then gently fold that into the wet ingredients, uh, half at a time and then the other half. Once you get that mixed together, then fold that into the butter that is melted, and hopefully will be melted by the time I get going on this. And then once that's kind of mixed, combine it, let it sit in the fridge for a bit while the oven heats up and then scoop about a tablespoon into your pan here. Cook at 350 for 10 to 12 minutes, and then call it a day. Nice. <laughs> I'm, glad, I'm glad we got that. <laughs> You could take the prism off. This would be a good time to do that. Yeah. So when you remove that. There you go. <laughs> oh, it's already at 16. Yeah. And the other thing too is like when you take a reading for like outside like this, it's all pretty much going to look the same. Is that helping or not? Pretty dope. If you're into stupid pictures, it's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> if you like bad photography, it's, it's pretty cool. I'm a big fan of bad photography. I mean, yeah, you like all my oh photos. My God. Shot isn't there. What are you trying to accomplish there? I was trying to get like, uh, I was looking at like the wires. Yeah. And again, it's like I have a similar situation of trying to get like an interesting angle. So it looks like the church is getting like dissected or like or cross. Right, like yeah. ghost shipped in yeah. half. Yeah. <laughs> You've seen ghost ship? Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm looking at some ghost ship. It seemed like a very you movie, so that's why I said <laughs> that, but yeah. I get what you're saying. I'm, I'm seeing the vision. What I did um, when I was in Michigan, if you want to swap me real quick, I had my. And that's recording, so if you want to like point it. Uh, relevant stuff, yeah. okay. <laughs> <laughs> I had my um, Veronica, which is another like waste if it doesn't have the prism. And I wanted to get the shot, so I did this. <laughs> like that. And it actually came out kind of okay, <laughs> except for I should have had a longer focal length lens on because it was just too wide. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> thank you. Thank yeah, you I feel for like, your patronage. I feel like if I wanted to be a, like a pro, like a good photographer, I just have to go like this everywhere. <laughs> I don't think that's the case though. <laughs> I think you just have to like you know. Are there any photographers who are who under, do that? No. Who are under six feet? Yes. <laughs> 
Many. I don't believe it. <laughs> How do you get the angles? <laughs> you just figure out different angles. I would say, like, for the most part, like, I wish I got lower angles on things. Because I just, there's just something about, like, a like a low angle shot. There's just, it's so much more compelling and powerful, I think, than... Why do you always want to look down on everybody, bro? What's wrong with you? <laughs> My knees didn't grow when I was young, all right? Yeah. <laughs> Dinosaur bugs. Is your mama a llama? <laughs> and this would be also an opportune time to use the waist level viewfinder option. Huh. Yeah. It's good. Yeah. <laughs> you know, sometimes. Yeah. Just hold on to it for you. Yeah, you can stand up and, or you can do the whatever stance that is. Uh, I think that was a bad picture, but that's okay. <laughs> I don't know, but you know, with the stance that's solid, I'm surprised the picture could be anything but a winner. Look, I tried to go for like a wide receiver stance. I was ready to run a route. Yeah. <laughs> I was ready for that slam. <laughs> you were ready for something, that's for sure. See, that's kind of cool with the the castle in the background, but eh, nah, not for me. I like I like framing things in a way in which like you don't know what you're looking at, where it's like you're. I like, like taking bad pictures <laughs> so you don't know what you see. Well, it's like where it's like you get no frame of reference, so like you just see brick. And then a tower, and you just don't know where the right. buildings start and end, you know? Okay, yeah, I, I see what you're, So you probably want to shoot with a longer angle lens next time. Or at least a zoom lens, because then you can kind of like, because I can sit here, or I can punch in, and this shot is completely different than yeah, this shot. Right. Or than this shot. Mm, yeah. And it gives you those options, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's kind of what I would recommend next. I just, I always recommend... I kind of wait, wait till we're out of traffic to get to this point because this is actually a good point, <laughs> me thinks. Okay, what I always recommend is just starting with one lens first. Mm -hmm. Typically a 50 because that's usually what's sold with like the cameras, the kit lens, which is a 50. Mm -hmm. I recommend starting there and then kind of figuring out how to use that to the best of its ability because it gives you the options of like you can shoot decent portraits with a 50 you can also shoot decent landscapes mm -hmm. and then if you're like man i really want to get a wider shot then you get a wider lens or then you get like a more long lens if you want to shoot more telephoto stuff right but i think when you i just believe in like uh minimizing the variables minimizing your options as much as possible so like only having 12 shots what am i trying to capture in these 12 shots black and white film mm -hmm. you need to be paying more attention to like the way that the light is being cast on certain things mm -hmm. the way that the shadows are being shaped and stuff like that and i think having like more minimal qualities to what you're shooting makes it a little bit more thoughtful than just like when you have all the tools at your disposal and then also too you're not kind of like overrun with possibilities. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Cause like, yeah. if you have a zoom lens, again, you can have this shot, which looks cool, or you can have this shot, which also looks cool, or you can have this shot, which looks cool. Yeah. And then you kind of like are overwhelmed by like, all right, what am I doing here? Mm -hmm. Versus if you just have one, then mm -hmm. you're good to go. Also get rid of your car. <laughs> just, <laughs> just throw it in the river. <laughs> it's over. What? I took a picture. You took a picture? It's good. Is that your first one of the day? <laughs> Thoughts? Am I supposed to be having those? Uh, yeah, it would be helpful for the video. <laughs> Okay, so, so far, your thoughts, feelings on the experience of film photography? Of film photography? Uh, it's fun. 
Um, I don't really know how to do it, obviously. Yeah. But I like looking for shapes, basically. I mean, I, I feel, it feels like it creates the world into like a form of geometry. Yeah. And that's kind of that's kind of neat. Um, it also makes me notice things that I wouldn't have noticed before, like all the shit on top of these buildings for that's no true. reason. Yeah. So. What about that? Like, do you see that face down there, like on that that building, on the where? the door? There's like little stairs going up to. Oh a door. yeah. What the fuck is that? What is that? It's like. Yeah, see, there's just some ghostly apparition just pointing at it. I wouldn't have noticed that without the beauty of film photography. That is true. <laughs> the, the camera so far, what do you think? How do you feel with it? Um, the tape is making my hands sticky. You're welcome. <laughs> um, I like that it feels sturdy. I like that it was made in East Germany. Um, Fucking call me. <laughs> okay. And... Uh, it's actually kind of hard for me to use my glasses because I can't get my eyes super close. Right. But, um, and but what I could tell, I mean, out of all of the cameras I've used in my life, this is like the best one, I think. <laughs> it's a really low bar. <laughs> He's learning. You almost looked like you knew what you were doing, and then you tried to put the prism on the wrong way. <laughs> like a dork. Uh, press the silver thing in more. Yeah. There you go. Oh, no, nope, other one. There you go. It, it honestly does that. It's very janky. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, what's the alien from, the robot from, oh, the Hitchhiker's yeah. Guide. I don't remember, the dude that, uh, Hitchhiker's Guide of the Galaxy. Yeah, what's his nuts, he does the voice for, the guy who died, Snake. I don't know. Just gives Hemingway, like, a, a run for his money. <laughs> Baby shoes. For sale, unworn, <laughs> twisted tea box, and whitey tidies. <laughs> whitey tidies, definitely worn. Look at it. <laughs> <laughs> Side of hill, whitey tidies, and twisted tea. <laughs> whitey tidies, obviously worn. <laughs> <laughs> Par partially used. <laughs> All he ever wanted was to be taller. That's it. Yep. That's the last one. All right, we'll advance. And what's it saying? K. Okay. Yeah, that is actually pretty solid. Check it. Oh, see. Get going. Get going to heaven. All right, so, other than thoughts? Thoughts. I took the best pictures, I think. No, I know. Um, it was fun. Um, I wish I was taller because I would have taken even better pictures because everything Being taller is better. Everything was too tall for me. Yep. Um, yeah, it was fun. It made Oregon City, which is actually kind of a boring place, much more interesting because I you had to notice more things about it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, there was a homeless guy in a waterfall, there was a mysterious building, and a snazzy library. And I took pictures of benches. And I uh, was not sure what else you would want. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, I, I, think, <laughs> I think we're good there. Uh, would you want to shoot film again? Uh, I would. I, I like the... I like the... I said, I think I, I like the, the way you have to think about things in more of like a geometric way. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and it's like, uh, I don't know, the world becomes like a lot more, in, like, becomes interesting in its own kind of way where it's like, uh, I don't know, you're almost kind of trying to form the world. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah so yeah. it's like, it's, it's kind of cool. I like that, yeah. Hold it down. 
like so, and then hold that, pull it tight, hold this tight. Yes. Like that, fold it down. Yep. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> okay, and then this you can um, lick like an envelope. And then, oh my god, that was so aggressive. That was like way more than he wanted. Okay, and then just roll it up like that. Okay. God, that was so wet. No, you stop licking it. It's done. I didn't, lick, it's, it. I didn't lick it enough. You licked it. You kept on stopping me. You licked it way more than anyone else does. <laughs> but that's it. That's your film. And you see how this was the one that came in originally. Yeah. Loads it into that. You can close the back now if you'd like. And then you're done. Sick. And then I'll send that out at some point. Cool. Soon. Sounds good. Cool. Yeah, no more licking <laughs> okay. it, please. I'm just... Okay. 